Hello and welcome back and today I want to talk about Budget NAS. I want to talk to you guys about the two lowest price synologies that you can buy right now in 2019. These are the DS-119J and the DS-218J. Now straight away off the bat this is the newer of the two. This little one bay the DS-119J and the 218J has been around for about a year and a half. So one might argue Ooh, it's older it must be worse but once you take a closer look at it, this two bay device, which obviously has RAID support, has a number of things going for it that makes it far surpass that of its newer one bay alternative. And it does make you wonder about how Synology prices up their units and what you get for your money. Because this device here, uh, the 119J, retails for as low as £80. In some places it's 80 or 90 quid, but let's just go by the lowest price you can get it for at the moment, which is about 80 quid without VAT and without hard drive media. This 80 quid now gives you access to Synology's DSM software, Disk Station Manager. But this two bay device goes for about 125 and it's a two bay NAS. So the price difference between them is about 45 quid or one could argue half the price of this. So what do you get that makes you go buy this older NAS over the newer one bay NAS? Surely, because they look so similar, aren't they just the same NAS with an extra drive inside? Well, no. There are so many reasons which, uh, which define why the 218J is not just a better NAS overall, but a great value NAS. I've talked about the 218J on a number of occasions to talk about how, for bang for buck wise, it does give you a hell of a lot even at its most modest setting. Now, don't get me wrong, neither one of these will give you the perfect, seamless, and ideal representation of Synology's Disk Station Manager software. Although both of them work great as NASes over DLNA and with cloud backups, working with third-party clouds, USB backups too, there's still no denying that these still represent the bottom rung of the ladder when it comes to buying a Synology NAS. Now, the DS-119J arrives with a dual-core CPU, but it's an 800 megahertz dual-core CPU. It's a Marvel Armada CPU, and it's the Marvel Armada 30, uh, 3700. Sorry if I sounded a bit weird, I had to talk off camera there. Um, now that dual-core CPU is only 800 megahertz, it's a 32-bit chip, and the device only has 256 megabytes of memory. You heard me right a quarter of a gig in 2019. That memory means that this device is really gonna struggle. And I really do mean a hell of a lot in day-to-day -day tasks. So if you start streaming a 1080p movie over DLNA to your PlayStation 3, this device will automatically use 40 to 50% CPU utilization to do that. Although it supports all of the Synology software, such as Synology's Photo Station, Music Station, Video Station, Surveillance, and more, that it's going to use a hell of a lot of its internal resources to do those tasks. On top of that, USB backups will make their dent as well. So if you, you can use it for low scale backups and very low end DLNA media streaming, but you can forget about things like transcoding. And because of that small amount of memory, you can really, really forget about the likes of multitasking with multiple users at once. Because although you can add multiple users in the control panel and use them, create groups and more, the hardware inside this device means you're going to have a real rough time with the latest version of Disk Station Manager included with this device. Now, the two bay device, it has to be said, outperforms the one bay in every single way. To what extent, though, is what's important. This two bay device that looks near enough identical arrives with USB 3 throughout, whereas the older device arrives with just USB 2. They both have one LAN port and they both have that fan on the rear that can be controlled, but there's no denying that the one bay will make less noise. That's because it's a smaller chassis, it uses thinner plastic by my account, and has only got the one drive inside. But there's still no denying that this one bay NAS just doesn't give you the hardware, because this two bay arrives with an ARM chip, sure, and it's another Marvel chip, but it's a dual core 1.7 gigahertz CPU inside there. And that CPU is known as the Marvel Armada 385. It's a commonly used NAS chip, although less so in 2019, and it has fallen into the cost-effective budget category. But that dual-core 1.7 GHz CPU, 1.3 I should say, 
is also paired with half a gig of memory, 512 megabytes, which again, isn't a lot, but it's a damn sight more than this one bay. And so long as you really went out of their way to hobble this device to make sure it sits in the food chain effectively. But with that device, it means you're gonna be able to multitask that little bit more. You're gonna be able to run a number of key applications on this that are just not possible on the DS119J. Don't get me wrong, things like hot swapping aren't enabled, and although both of them have got the LEDs there on the front and that little angled front panel as you can see for ventilation there on the side, along with the logo being uh, completely ventilated as well, both devices are supremely budget, both of them involve the top of the device getting removed to get inside to the internal chassis of this device. And then both of them support the very latest hard drives such as the Seagate Ironwolf Pro and the Seagate Ironwolf series of drives which go up to 14 TB currently. So you put the drive in and then wallet, slot it in, two screws either side and that drive is now installed and ready to use. The software will install itself from the device itself inside. It's all on a little bit of flash memory. Same goes for here, but on this device, you've got RAID functionality. And once again, given that price was price difference is only about 40 to 50 quid if you shop around, I think this device is worth that extra spend. Which again brings me back to my earlier point about value. All too often on this channel, I talk about the difference between cheap and budget, about the difference between low cost and high value. These two devices represent very different ends of that same spectrum. The 119J represents cheap. You will get a NAS, and you'll get a NAS that can do low-end tasks pretty well, but very low-end and only one user at a time. This represents cost-effective value. It gives you more for your money. You've got a better version of USB for backups, a better CPU for handling tasks, more memory, RAID support functionality, and basically everything this can do, this does twice as much. And although both of them aren't the perfect synology you now, so I put that at the DS218 Plus at the moment, these two still, it's just a winner. There's a clear winner between them, and that is the DS218J. We're still waiting to hear more about the newer generation of Synology NAS coming towards the end of this year, and I'll keep you informed. So don't forget to click like and subscribe. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you've got any queries or questions, go to the link below. And I'll see you next time. Cheerio.